Hi, you guys. It's Monique. I'm back with another video. And today I wanted to show you my new portfolio. So this is a better version, I would say, of my portfolio that I'm going to be using from here on out. Um, as you can see, I have, you know, kind of the same kind of setup um, as my old portfolio. But can you guys tell the difference of what's going on here? I don't know if you can, but I'll let you know. This is a template, okay? So I have used a template and it really helps you save time. Um, and if you're not too much into designing and you know making things look so very nice and things like that, I would say that templates are something that you could use. Um, a lot of web developers, they use templates, I mean, not everybody out here is coding everything from scratch. It's just not happening. But um, I would suggest that you, of course, know how to code. I mean, this right here, this is something that I coded from scratch, okay? Like, no templates whatsoever. I did this myself. So um, definitely you should know how to code and um, things like that. But this right here, I think it's a much more cleaner look. Um, and still with templates, you still have to add some things in there. Um, so you need to know kind of what you're doing there. But I'm going to show you around my new portfolio. And uh, yeah, uh, so this right here, I'm thinking about adding, um, let's see, this that's in my old portfolio. This is CSS right here. I wanted to probably add it right here or something. And then I might change the colors up a little bit because I like pink and gray. I think they're really girly. I think they really go good together. Um, this one right here is my resume. So you wanna make sure that if you do have a link going to anything, you see how this resume just is another web browser, which is, you know, target equals underscore blank that is going to help you so that you know maybe the recruiter is not going away from your portfolio because they might not ever come back so you want to keep your portfolio there so that they don't have to scramble and try to figure it out because they'll just go to somebody else you know they don't have all that time for that so um this template actually motivated me to you know tell about my other professional skills and my capabilities. And that's exactly what I did. So I found these icons, um, of course, on uh, Font Awesome, I think it is. Um, yeah, I wanted to change them pink and I'll probably do that later, change this whole thing pink and gray. But for now, I'll just keep them like this. But um, other than web development, you know, I do other things. And it just has motivated me to actually make like a website um, with my pricing information and so on. And I say that you should do the same thing. Like we are entrepreneurs out here. We could do anything that we set our minds to. So um, these are some of my projects. Uh, this right here, to me, it looks a little bit cleaner than the one uh, my old uh, I put some different projects too, but of course, if you're going to have your projects, you want to make sure again that it comes up in a different browser. Um, you know, so there's my portfolio. My portfolio is hosted on GitHub. So that is how that works. And then my Wix website, um, that is a website that is deployed also. Um and it's just a little fake website. My survey form, I have not deployed that to GitHub yet, but I need to do it. So I'm still kind of working on this. Get in touch with me. Somebody would fill out this information and it would go to my email. So I would get messages saying, hey, I do want to work for you. Help me out there. Um, find me. I have all of my platforms looking um, you know, presentable across the board, my Twitter. Um, I was told you should have a Twitter and be tweeting things. I don't really use Twitter that much. As you can see, I have no followers, but I haven't really done much. Like, yeah, so I tweeted this back in February. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure that you have a nice professional picture, um, you know, and that you're obviously presenting yourself in the best 
uh, way. My Facebook, of course, it's not my personal Facebook, but it's my business one, Monique's Virtual Services. So again, here they come to this area to where they can ask for services or I don't know, something else, but shouldn't be your personal one. This goes to my LinkedIn. As you can see, I have the same picture, same kind of background. Not to say you have to have the same look all the way across, but it's just like, make sure that your picture is professional. This is literally the the most professional picture that I think that I have. I do plan on changing this picture because it's not all that professional, but it'll do for now, you know, so. Um, and then my GitHub. Yeah, so... I have my repositories. I do want to do better though with my repositories and probably I need to delete some of these, but um, you know, I do want to show some of my work and show the code and how I actually did it. You definitely need your GitHub. Um, also, I want to show you something, these green down here. I'm not on GitHub every day and actually why I've been gone is um, I have been working on a group project um, with these other two young ladies and uh, we're making a task to do app. It's really interesting. I'm really learning a lot with JavaScript because I'm learning how to actually make things work from the back end. Um, and it's really insightful. Um, I also am making a personal project uh, on my own. So and that has to do with JavaScript as well. Like these are websites that will be functional and working. So I'll probably come back and make some videos about these things. Um, but before what I was doing, you guys, was literally free code camp and Code Academy and uh, Canva and like, you know, these other little places to go to kind of do these uh, coding activities, but I'm not really doing that right now. I'm really actually working on making actual projects that work. So I really, um, I really would say to go and make something because that is really how you learn. Like I'm really learning a lot doing this and how things are connected and how they work. So um, be patient with yourself, but definitely if you can get out of just doing like, you know, yeah, you solve this problem, go into your Visual Studio code and you actually make something yourself um, and then you, um, you know, you see if it works and all of those good things. Um, oh, but what I wanted to say was I wanted to mention Code Wars. So Cold Wars is a website that you would go to and you can push your code to GitHub every single day with a code war that you did. So let's just say that you finished, uh, there are problems that you would solve. They're asking you questions. So if a recruiter or something goes to your GitHub and they see, you know, wow, she's on GitHub all the time pushing code. Um, it looks good, you know. I don't have that many green spots, but that doesn't mean that I'm not coding. Like literally, I mean, if you have something to push to GitHub, you would. And I mean, those times are few and far in between as far as me. I'm kind of in school doing other things. So even this project, we only push our code um, when we have something that we changed to the repository. But it's a good idea to go on Code Wars. Now, I wanted to show you actually where I got this template. Um, I went to HTML5up. Um, this is a good website. I got this basically from Leon Noel. <laughs> he is awesome. He tells about this uh, website. It's really good because it uh, goes into, it, it, it. usually it has a lot of portfolio templates but some of them are full-on websites um so yeah i would suggest going here i'm gonna post other videos that will help you later on kind of you know with um a lot of different resources that you guys can use because there's so many right um yeah but I wanted to show you my new portfolio and I wanted to motivate you to keep going. If you are still coding, it is never easy, but only the people that are going to succeed is the people who never give up. So let that be your sign. If you were thinking about giving up today, 
Um, I actually was friends with someone in a class who gave up and it, it hurt my feelings because I remember when I was kind of coding and I didn't understand, but now I'm going, I'm going to keep going and that's what you guys should do, you know? So I'll be back with more videos, mostly probably talking about JavaScript and what I've learned, um, because I've learned a lot. I wanted to show you also Leon Noel. So this is him. And as you can see, I have his YouTube video up tonight. I'm learning about local storage. Um, it's something that's really important for saving your data and the information on the back end so that you can get that information and use it however you want to. Um, but he goes into APIs on here. I watch him when maybe like the school that I go to, I don't understand something about that, uh, what they're saying. And he explains it in such a good way. Like he is so, um, it's so easy to understand. So I appreciate this man. And if you have not checked him out, please go. His name is Leon Noel and he's from 100 devs. So definitely people have gotten jobs. Um, he has literally a free boot camp, and I was doing his at first. I'm still kind of going through it, but I have so much code and things to do these projects and things like that. Like I do get with him sometimes and I definitely come here to his YouTube when I don't understand something. So definitely would recommend that man. He is so patient and he's like an angel on earth because he, um, he really tries to help people get jobs. So I appreciate that. Yes, I do. All right. Do you guys like my new portfolio? Let me know in the comments if you like it, um, what you think about it. I'll probably make a different portfolio that just has web development on it. But I was just, I don't know. I wanted to say that I did more things. Um, if you're trying to be an entrepreneur, you can definitely just post your portfolio. Um, I don't know, anywhere, Facebook, um, let people know what you do and hope for the best. Hopefully you'll get some emails out there. But yeah, that is my video and I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you like my new portfolio, what you think about it. All right, you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.